Fighting defensive tackle got hurt in the playoffs. But the other part is, can they shake off the last two years of losses, get that out of their psyche? That crazy Minneapolis loss to the Vikings, and then the controversial non-call in the playoffs against the Rams this year. If they can put that behind them, they'll be a force again in 2019. Breeze again here on second and 10. Trying to get it to Thomas, and it's intercepted. Picked off around the 37, and his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. Thomas, the intended target. Well, this is a defense that can confuse even the best of quarterbacks with their zone schemes. And here you've got a linebacker that's going to stay at home and just sit down in that zone. And this one basically comes right to him. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. He came out ready to play. That's three tackles for a loss, Charles, rolling in the second quarter. And that's problematic for a guy trying to run offense because that means he's got a pretty good idea of what they're doing and is actually beating them to the point of attack and making those plays. You might have to think about some misdirection or something to try and get him away from the ball. They'll try and pick up the first with Gurley. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. And he's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. And with the play clock running out, Sean McVay will take a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Goff in the offense with a first and ten. And he's a perfect six for six here to start the ball game. 17, 17. Here comes carry number 10 for Gurley. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. On second down, here's Goff. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. Now Goff on third and goal. Steps away to his... And the Rams with a score. Touchdown. That was not a designed run. It was supposed to be a pass, but it turned into an exceptional run. What a scramble for a touchdown. Now Zerline on to add the extra point. Zerline connects on the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Zerline out now to kick this one away. And here's Lewis. Oh, a heck of a move. Man. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. 
And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to the City of Angels after this timeout. Throwing on first down is Breeze. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Shotgun now for Breeze. Drops this off to Kamara out of the backfield. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and they're going to have a third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. So it looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. It would appear Sean Payton's made the decision here. They will go for it on fourth. Ready, ready. Breeze to throw for it on fourth. That's complete to Meredith. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. A gutsy call. Turns out to be a good one, though. First down on a pickup of 11. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Breeze now on first down. Thomas has got it. Complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A good pickup there, 26 yards. A first opportunity upcoming in the red zone for the Saints. They've got a first and 10 at the 11. Ready. 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 Breeze leaves this one with Camara. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. On second down, here's Breeze. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. The target that time, Michael Thomas. And it's third down. It's been my observation there's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. Now Breeze on third down. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Ted Ginn. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Saints are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Lutz with the extra point. And we've got a tie game here in a back and forth first half. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Rams offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. They go play action here on first down. And that's caught left side. It's Woods. And all the way down to the 35. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Here we go. 
So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. A play fake to Gurley. Now gone. Flush to his right. And this is caught at the eight. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. As they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Shotgun snap for golf. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown Rams. Todd Gurley as the first half is winding down. And the Rams have broken our tie as they take the lead. Zerline now for the PAT. Zerline good with a PAT, and the lead is now 21-14. Zerline out now to kick this one away. And here's Lewis. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Out is the Saints offense now as they get ready to take over here. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Ready! Y'all are waiting! They begin on the ground with Camaro, And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. The final shot before half for Breeze. He's going to look deep down the field. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. LaMarcus Joyner with a pick. And we will be brought down as time is now run out this first half of action. You want the third quarter already? No problem. Let's do it. So we come upon halftime here in Southern California with the Rams on top. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. So now here are the Rams as their offense comes back out. And the ledger for them so far looks pretty good, doesn't it? It certainly does. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. <laughs> Not sure it can be much better than that. They've got to feel very good about the groove that they're in at this stage of the game. Time to establish the run game here. Gurley. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Tough first half for him. Unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That burst good for 20 and a first down. So on the heels of the run by Todd Gurley, another first and ten. On first down, it's Gurley. And some room to roll now. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 